Once you have finished the laminate, you will have your expansion gaps down the top and sides. Now with this, if you have removed the skirting board, you can now put it on your skirting board and be done. With plastic skirting board like this, you can buy the corners so you don't have to mind to the edges. If you have put it over, left the skirting board on and then put the laminate down afterwards, you may want to add some beading to give it a nice finish. Now without monitoring, that's what the beading would look like. And unless you want to buy a mitre, this is another way I've found to be able to do it. So take your one length and put it up against the wall where you need it. And then draw, so like so, and then draw a line against your beading. And then do the same again, bringing your next set of beading then draw another line and then you'll see there's an intersection there and that's the bit that needs to be mitered so taking it from the wall to the corner mark a line so then you're bringing your bead in match it up with the lines where you need it and then you will mark where the corner of that is up to the corner of the wall now because it's a bent curvature shape you will then need to try and keep it as straight as possible and marking off your straight line and then the same applies to this side you bring it in you see here up there at the top and again Draw your line as straight as possible from there upwards. Like so. And then when these two pieces fit together, you will have a mitered corner. When cutting, I've got a blade here. It is best you don't hold it like that because that will give you the wrong angle. You need to hold it at the angle in which it will be flat against the wall and cut in that motion all the way down so it goes in a straight line. You don't want to turn it off. Straight line like this. So once you've finished sawing, you'll have an angle that looks like this so that will slide perfectly into here you then need to cut this angle exactly the same so it comes down straight rather than like that so we need to do it that angle and keeping your hand at the same angle all the way down to the top and the bottom meets so once that's done you'll have an angle like so and then all you need to do slide it in so that they meet and then you have mitered angle now the best thing to do is you can either add some adhesive across the top row not attaching it to the laminate the top row here whilst pressing firmly down or you can use a nail gun and slot it in there if you do find when the adhesive is on, it is not laying flush, you can get some heavy books and put a bit of weight on it just until the grab adhesive has set. And then you can continue with the rest of the walls. Next is doing the external joints where the wall comes away. So as you've still got your gap, what you need to do is the same as the internal measure on the floor and then and you will also find the point again and then just roughly draw it in so then when you put 
your piece of beading up against the wall. You can draw from here to here. And draw a straight line and the same this side. It's always worth doing a little bigger as you can cut it down afterwards. If you cut it too small then you can't so it's always best to be bigger and cut down as you go with the angle with this one i found is you need to do quite a deep cut into the angle like so and keep that angle consistent rather than keep upping and changing you need to do a flat consistent angle so once you've cut them if you bring them in together You'll have this one flush against the wall and this one flush against the wall as well. And then you can self-adhesive the top bit that goes against the wall on both. I would advise holding them in place because these ones will move until they're completely dry.